Greetings and welcome back to Horticular. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I'm so excited to be back playing with this with you. I am, uh, so we started our garden in the last episode and we made a really good start. We now have three plots. I'm really excited about that. Our third plot has running water in it, which is kind of part of the next goal here. Uh, let's see what the, um, the folks have to say to us. Wow, now that's what I call movement. Doesn't it make you feel alive? You probably know this already, but only certain aquatic plants thrive in streaming water. Just a heads up. Anyway, I like reeds. I hope you like reeds because I do, and I've got some for you. They make for a really good hiding place for animals and can be planted in streaming water. Yay, we got our reeds. Excellent. Let's check uh, what we need for those. Um, reeds. Okay, water. They don't like deep water. So we can plant them in regular standing water like here. Um, which is kind of nice and they are expensive so we don't have money anymore we have no money absolutely no money so this is kind of where the game kind of gets a bit slow like we have we're just at the very beginning of the day it's 10 30 and it's nothing to do right now so i have suggested like a mini game or something because like when you have no money, you literally have no money. You cannot do anything. So it's a bit frustrating for me, I know. Um, but anyway, there's nothing really worth planting. I guess we could plant a red velvet or two. Um, let's plant some over here, maybe. That'll at least get our money up a tiny bit. And we're out. We're like completely out of money now. All right, magical upgrade, what is that? Let's see, magical upgrade. Oh, maybe it's, is it these? I think it's these. All right, we don't have any choice for that right now. We have to get a little bit more done. Okay, so these are just finishing up over here. This is pretty fantastic. This marble almost looks like snow. But now this stuff is getting done. The path the tiles really go up fast, which is kind of nice. Uh, and then we're going to get our water, which is part of the, um, the quest that we had here. So we need uh, 10 water lilies and then magical upgrade. Wow. And this is all of our optional quests here. Okay. Those will have to get done later. Okay. It's 1700. Let's go. Night is happening now. Okay, we got a little bit of money, which is great. Now we're going to get a lot of money with the, um, I guess it's love, maybe. I don't know. It's something. It's something. Okay, so what do we got here? Okay, dug faster. Good. Treasure unearthed. Buy more. Sure. I don't care about this one. That's not important to me, so I'm not going to spend money on it. All right, and we are now at a situation of 7.30 in the morning and no money. <laughs> Yay! God. This is, this is the part of the game that really is like, oh God, why? Why? I want to plant these tulips here, maybe. I can only afford one. But still, it's extra money. Oh, this is just excellent. Solus Akasum just got a bit cozier. Can you feel the increase in magic? I sure can. As I said previously, each upgrade requires one requires unique animals in your garden. Once I've performed an upgrade, it is locked and will stay. However, should your animals leave, you must attract new ones to unlock further upgrades. I should be able to provide more upgrades than I can offer now, but I'll have to work on that. Maybe you'll find them in your work. I will probably need some assistance in the future, but for now, good luck breathing life into your garden, Catherine. Remember the upgrades, Faunus. Okay, can you please just give me some money? We got a bee. B B B. Yo, B. Can you hold on? There we go. Let's pick you up. Put you where you need to go. How about there? That's nice. That's real nice. Let's look at um, habitability here. Why does this say zero? Oh, because I'm looking at the goldfish, I think. Okay, that's 135% in goldfish land. Um, water, foliage, and shading. We have both of those, I think. All right. I keep getting confused. Would be, you know what we might need? It's like an X button to X the, uh, thing. Just like, I don't know. I always like, okay, I have to choose a thing here. Um, an X. I keep pressing escape, but obviously that is not working. 
So foliage and shading. Um, what do we want for that? This is foliage and shading. These are foliage and shelter. Kind of would like to put some more water lilies, but we can't afford them right now. So to wait till 17 to get some more stuff. And um, did we get a new animal at all? I don't know. Goldfish? I think we, we are good with goldfish right now. They want water, foliage, and shading. So we need to put some stuff out here, obviously. But we're going to get 1.25k in the next day. So that's great. And in the early days, you don't even get to pick up any magic. So it's like, oh god. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. So why did we weather? Oh my god, really? Okay, so they want us to plant more water lilies. I don't really want to do it, but they're cheap, I guess. Ah, but they can't do that. Okay, that's fine. Okay, task done. Good. Danger, danger! It's happening again, Catherine! Solus Cossum is decaying unnaturally fast, just like it did after Nightshade's disappearance. If left unmanaged, your plants and animals will wither and crumble, turning the surface to waste! Calm down! Don't panic! They're like yelling at me to calm down. This is exactly why we've been preparing magically infused gardening gloves. They're not ready for full operation yet, but we have no choice. Try them out with the restoration spell to restore your decaying items. Okay, so here we get our magic spells. We gotta hold the the uh, mouse button until it's ready, and then we can um, release the spell. Once your gloves are upgraded, you can increase the charge level for a grander area of effect. Okay, so we need to get this. I think it's number three here. So we move to the spell, charge it, and go. All right, and we can also click here to find the decaying items. I don't know why they're decaying. Seems like we have a nice sunny day. I don't know what's going on here. Now that's nice, don't you think? Really makes your garden feel more home and cozy. Let's see if you can keep it up. I'm giving you a sizable donation so you can take Solus Ocasum even further. Oh, good. Goody, goody, goody. 400. Okay, another thing. Phew. Fortunately, we kept our heads cool and addressed the situation calmly. But to see decay after only eight days before we even had time to teach you about it. What an unlucky turn of events. It almost feels intentional. Normally, you can expect decay from wear and tear, such as rough weather. But with your new gloves, you should be set to deal with it. Our friend Fauna should be able to help you unlock their full potential, too. Regardless, we probably should start searching for your garden tending assistance. We'll get back to you on that one soon. Okay, so we got spell, finish, wizard, mage, and freeze. Okay, let's see. Can we do any of those? Nope, we don't. Those are not unlocked, but I think they're in here. So add one charge level to your gloves. I will expand your storage buffers by revisiting, reusing existing energy allocators. Uh, access to grander magic. We need three dragonflies. Nectar cost from magic is reduced by one. That is important. Uh, fast forwards a dig patch by five seconds. That's nice. Frogs. Crows. Freeze a creature for 15 seconds. That's really useful, that one, when we get the negative creatures coming in. So that's rough. How is ro how are rocks decaying? I don't get that part of it. Okay, buy things. We can buy dragonfly details. I think we should buy this. I do really want those tulips so we can get them next time. Okay, so let's figure out dragonfly details. Here we go, because we need a many of those. And we need frogs. Oh, a bumblebee. Let's look. Hello, little bumblebee. Nope, no, no. Whoops, whoops. No! Oh my god. Silly bee. He found his own home. Okay, so, uh, what did we just get again? Dragonfly, right, we wanna see. Okay, water, land, tall, basking, and foliage, okay? So, let's see if we can, here's basking. I don't know if those count as tall, though. We have to check, I think. Uh, are those tall? No, we don't have anything that's tall, actually. That's kind of dreadful. We can put stones also in the water. That can help with stuff like this. Uh, one decaying item. I don't like when they're behind these little houses and stuff. They're hard to see. Okay, how much money do we have? 428. We can put down something. Tulips are worth 48. Reeds are 50, but they're more expensive. Let's do some tulips again. 
Okay, and now we have enough for 128. What do we plant? Um, let's see, 11. I would love to sort these by money. Ooh, grass is tall. Oh, no, it's foliage shading shelter. All right. So we need to put some grass next to here, I think. And also something tall. Let's see, anything that has money more than 10 these. I guess we can do red tulips somewhere. Oh, yes, we have them there. All right. Great. Oh, whoops. Oh my god, the decay is crazy. What's going on here? What kind of weird weather was that? That wasn't good. Jeez. Oh, dang. This is just terrible. This is way too many items here. Okay. Why, hello there, Catherine. I happen to notice that your little garden is more extensive than before. You must have expanded recently. You know what? I think you should have ample room for even more lilies now, do you not? If you can increase the count a bit, I have a unique lily that you would have good use for. Ooh, I would love that. We have completely forgotten about the Hordic Day. Every now and then, garden masters from many worlds get together in a grand horticultural event. We call it the Hordic Day, and it's organized by a few old keepers. Very old. In fact, we are not sure how old they are. Probably ancient. In the festivities, each garden master is ranked on their performance. That This part is where you will eventually be crowned a legendary horticulturalist. There's also a themed competition to win prizes and a medal ceremony for accomplished specific feats. The first event is coming up, but you need a high garden love to stand a chance. So make sure to have a good garden love foundation before the event takes place. Okay. Okay, new items and surfaces. Garden varied, supporting happy animals of many species, expanding the garden size. Okay. Yeah, we could definitely use more, more love for sure. The things are, I guess we could expand uh, when we get more gold, of course. Let's see. I would like to put down, we need more uh, lilies. We can use some grass here and there. Just uh, placing some by the water areas. Oh, I have no more money. Okay, not great. Great news, Catherine. Yesterday we were contacted by some of our fellow keepers. They wondered if we would, now would be a good time to settle in Solus Ocasum. Truth be told, we don't think so, because they wouldn't have anywhere to live. So we provided you with a home for them. Just place the cottage in the garden and a keeper will eventually appear. Just like other animals, us keepers need to be kept happy. In addition to the basics, a keeper also has an upkeep. But in return, they wander around tending to the garden and preventing decay. So we get a cottage, but those are expensive. I think they're... Uh, are they 500 Let's see. Yeah, they're 500 monies. That's a lot. Um, all right. What can, what else can we plant here? Red velvets are cheap and they give us a little bit of money. Um, more reeds are would be good. Water lilies are cheap and we need more of those, right, for that uh, quest? I think we need them for the quest. 35 water lilies. I don't think we can do that right now, so I'm not going to do it. I think we need more water. More water. Water, water. Um, so let's plant something that actually is going to do something for us. We have reeds, 200 though for those. Let's get some more red velvets going on, I think. Uh, okay, no more. That's it. That is it. We can't fast forward yet. Okay. And we also don't have a tall item. Sometimes you can find those in the store here. This one is nice. This is shelter shading and basking. Um, this is foliage lush shading. Uh, this is nice. The lady fern foliage shading sh shelter shading. Oh my God. Deep pond. Ooh, <gasps> I want that. Oh my God. But if we don't have enough time to get it, oh, the sadness is real because he leaves in two days. Ah, oh, okay. Well, it'll be fine. We'll, we'll find a way. He, those items return eventually. But we have, we're getting more love, which is great. You can see the uh, increase in our income from the love. It's 283 bunnies. So that's fantastic. Yay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, people. Now, if we look at the keepers. Oh, we don't have any keepers. Okay. I think I calculated that their radius is nine tiles. 
So if we count like nine tiles from here, we can figure out where we want to have a keeper house. Oops. Uh, yeah, a cancel button here would be great. Just like a big X. Okay, fast forward. Let's go, 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 go. Oh, we're getting some nature stuff. Oh my god, we got two green dew. That is amazing. Yay. Look at that. That's fantastic. I, I was playing the demo and I noticed like a decrease in, in dew and I'm like, oh my god, we don't have enough. Let's buy the tulips. I love the tulips. They're so great. Um, They end up earning us quite a lot of money. I don't want to make a keeper's hut right now because I want to just increase our income. So let's get more of a uh, Let's see, t these tulips are more expensive, so. Let's do like a checkerboard, okay. And what else can we do? We can do some more red ones, but they are expensive. Plante lily. Man, I would love for this to sort by money. That would be so nice. Meow, 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 meow. Okay. So again, we're kind of waiting again. Um, what are what is grass counted as again? Is it tall? No. Foliage shading shelter. I kind of want to move one of these grasses. I'll move this one. It's not great to move grass, but um, oh, that was happy. Something was happy there. Ooh, dragonfly. Wait, where's that frog? Huh? Help? Hello? No, where? Cancel. <laughs> cancel this. Where is that frog? Is there a frog somewhere? No. There's no frog. Frog not, not exist. We're looking for a dragonfly. Oh, but maybe it's showing me where a frog could live. Is that what it's doing? I think so. I think that's what it's telling us. But we're looking for dragonflies here. But they don't have a uh, the tall thing at all. Yeah. That's not good. Oh my god, a frog appeared. Okay, that's great. Cancel again. Where's our frog? Hello? Whoops. Okay, that doesn't work well. Just right click. There's the froggy. Froggy noggy. Yay. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, let's look for do. Oh no, evil thingies. Oh my god, I really... Oh no, no, no. How do we kill these? Danger, danger. If you did not notice it yet, there are corrupted elves in the garden. This is absolutely wild. They are not supposed to be a thing. But we can ponder this for later. For now, it's important to stay calm. We've attached an upgrade for your gloves, the banishment spell. Use it to banish the intruders. Be careful not to banish any friendlies. Okay. They have to be kind of stopped. Here we go. One two three uh that's a bit annoying that you have to hit them three times but yeah that is the thing ah dude go away and they do drop some dew okay oh my god Dude, stop. Oh. oh my god. Wow, that was just intense. Ha! Cooler heads prevailed yet again. We were in a heated discussion on the greatest marmalade when visitors caught our attention. Turns out that our guests were unfriendly gnomes, corrupted keepers that only the oldest of books mention. Instead of tending to nature like us, they intend to destroy it. We honestly thought they were a mere fairy tale invented to motivate younglings doing chores. We were wrong. So with this revelation, the obvious question is why they came here today. Could it be linked to the sudden onset of decay? We'll start doing some research. In the meantime, keep your eyes open. Okay. So we got banished spell, task received, curious creature. Hey, Bumblebee. Hey, hey. Let's pick you up and put you here. All right. So we got money. What did we get here? 
So this is Soil Desert Soil Plus and Orderly. We got a moth, de moth details, red velvet, or sand. Rhododendrons are beautiful, but they're very expensive. Um, I think we kind of increase just our garden. I think that's what we do to get more money. Kaha, kaha, a new gardener? Hmm, are you a nectar aficionado like me? Judging from your collection, not so much. My name is Corbett, and I'm both a collector and connoisseur of items and nectar. Not only that, but I have been known to trade nectar for items, sometimes even gold. You know what? If you would collect some nectar of, of any kind, I'll open my services to you. I assure you that you won't regret it. Okay, so this is what we've been collecting on the ground at night. It's a resource you collect via interaction. You've got to click it. So moon nectar drops during moonlit nights from fully adapted flowers. Creature nectar occasionally drops from animals. Happy animals have more frequent drops. That's the blue. That's the green. Moon nectar is the yellow. The third type is from in unsavory elements, uh, a.k.a. all of those uh, little red gnomes that we just killed. Adaptation is a measure of the natural item settling in. It increases item value, affecting daily income and reclaim value. The longer an item stays in the same spot, the more ad adaptation it has. Uh, when you move an item, it loses some adaptation. The longer distance leads to more up to adaptation loss. So you don't really want to move stuff around. You really don't. It's not a great idea. Okay. Oh, you did it. Very well, Catherine. I did something, apparently. <laughs> I opened my services to you. Please come by and trade anytime. I have wares that Mercury wouldn't even dream of acquiring. I've also heard about illusory corrupted nectar. I don't know where you'd find them, but I would love to trade them. Oh, yeah, well, don't worry. I have some. I have some. Okay, so this is a nectar thing, a seismometer. That's interesting. Um, you can see where the neck earth earthquake is. I don't know how to f how how why you would want to know that. As in, like, can you do anything about it? I don't think so. So anyway, he doesn't have a lot of stuff. I remember, like, in my previous game when I was practicing, there was more stuff. That's okay. Uh, there is nothing that is tall here. What I want, maybe what we also just need to. Oh, ooh. Trade in nectar for more gold. Okay. Land expansions are cheaper. That I definitely want. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, no. I want tall things. Is this tall? This is tall. The Thuya tree. Mm. The birch, of course. But that's way expensive. Help! S so expensive. Okay, so. Where are we making the money? Grass is very expensive, but will give us money. Reeds, I think, are our best bet right now. Or the tulips. I think we'll add both. Oh, wow. I'm already out of money. No, I'm out of money already. No. But I can add yellow tulips. And that's it. Okay, we're done. Okay. Boulder. Oh. Paint it. We can't paint it. Dang it. Um, okay, so these things. We have the frog. We need more frogs, I think, right? We wanted more frogs. So I want to look and see how we can get more frogs. Why is this at less? Maybe there's no... Water. Oh, there's more. We need more land. Okay. So land shelter. Maybe there's no shelter in this area for a frog. This is better. Foliage, shading, basking, water, land. Okay. We'll try to work on this area for a frog. That one has the highest kind of, um, whoops. Oh, got to grab this nectar quick, quick, quick. Yeah, I don't see any more. Okay, very good. So this area we needed, let's check what this, what the grass is. It is foliage shading shelter. So foliage shading shelter, we need basking. Um, here, this is a basking item. Okay, and then we need some more foliage, shading, shelter, which is grass, pretty much. 
So I think that should give us habitats for two frogs. Nope, not yet. Full. We need probably more foliage, I would think. Foliage, foliage, foliage. Okay, go away. These are foliage, but this is... This one is cheaper. And let's, is, let's see, the lilies... We can't put lilies, but we can put cattails, I think, right? Or reeds. Yeah, they're foliage. So let's see. 88%. I still don't... Why? Why is it 88%? It's got water. It's got land. Basking it has. Shelter, shading, and foliage. Maybe it just needs more foliage or or something. I don't know what it needs. Let's check. What can we make that's fairly cheap? These are cheap. How's that? Huh. Is it not got enough water? I mean, it could be that. Let's try. Let's try a thing where we move this here and we add water here. Stream. Let's see if that helps us. No, 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 no. I wanted to click the nectar. I didn't want to move the plant. Wow, there's a lot of nectar. Nice. Okay, looking good, looking good. One decaying item. Okay, very nice. So, it's a rainy day. It's the perfect day to attract frogs. What is going on with this? Ah, shelter, water, land. We have like water land. I don't really understand what I need here. Maybe I need more diversity with plants. Maybe I need um, something else around. More reeds. That looks like very spammy, but maybe that's what they want. It's still 88%. Or 75% of the items there. I don't I don't understand what it wants. Maybe I should change. Let's see. Let's do something else here. Um, let's move this here and this there. Maybe I want to have pond water instead. Oops, not this. Pond. Let's make these pieces pond water. Let's see. Please. No, it doesn't seem to care or matter. And it doesn't even have to be half water, half land. Basking? Maybe we need more basking. Maybe we need more shelter than foliage. Maybe we need more uh, grass. Okay, let's see if grass will help us here. More grass. Please give us... Why? Why is this one a frog? It has some lush um, areas. Maybe that matters. No, but these have lush areas as well. I really don't understand why this is not making a habitat for a frog here. How many rocks does this have? One rock. One rock, some land, one grass, one plantain lily, three pieces of water.
I really don't get it. And I really don't want to go to the next day because then that's going to be less. I wonder if it needs um, maybe just plain. Uh... Oh, God, there's so many. The reason to have the keepers, of course, is they do this automatically. Um, they, they do this. Okay. So what if we move you over here, you over there, that we keep. Maybe we get a lily in each of the, um, here. Maybe they like lilies. Okay. What can we buy? Not much. The moth might be interesting just to have some more diversity. Hmm. Grumble. Grumble, grumble. I'm still like, why is that suitable for a frog in this area? Isn't there's a goldfish area now. I don't know why I don't understand the situation at all here. Hmm. That makes me annoyed because I don't, I feel like I've done everything and I don't understand why it's not giving me the thing. Um, all right. You have red velvet flowery soil. Um, I'm really looking to get, let's see, three days. We could definitely get that, get the moth in three days, but, hmm, hmm, I don't know how to fix this. I really don't like this area is so simple. It's got water lilies, one plantain, one grass, one those, maybe it has too much now. Maybe it's just too many thingies. Is that better for froggies? I don't, I don't understand what's wrong with it. I wish it would tell me, you know, let's see. It's a hundred percent of the two items on top. Okay. So the, the orange stuff, water and land is fine. Okay. That's good. 75% on the other part. I don't really get it. I feel like we have, do we have shading and foliage? I think we do because like the grass is shading and foliage. Yeah, foliage, shading, and shelter. We have everything included with the grass. Is that better? No, it's not better. <sighs> shading, shelter, basking. We have the basking right there, right? The rock is basking. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I'll add another one there. And here. Does that help us? No, of course not. Why, why is it saying 75%? The shelter is the grass, I believe. Maybe we need... Uh, this has water lilies and a that. Why can I not replicate this? I don't, I don't get it. I, I really don't understand this. It's kind of driving me nuts here, as you can probably tell. Um, I haven't seen any animals that like constructs. We're going to skip that for now. Let's, uh, spend our money on items that are going to give us more money. Um, I guess tulips would be a good one for that. Okay. That's great. Uh, what else? They're still at 20. These yellow tulips are at 28. So let's make some more of those happen. Nope. Nope. Go away. Nope. Okay. And anything else that I can buy for a decent, I usually look for like 10 or more return yarrow. Okay. Do 
Did I need flowers? I don't think so. Oh, no nasties around again. Darn it. Crap. Wow. Wait, no! Oh, no. It sold my plant. Crap. Oh. I thought I was on magic and I wasn't. Dang it. Okay. All right. We're back. We're back. We're doing things. We're back. Maybe we can look at the shop and see what um, the guy with the nectar sells. All right. Pole. It's a construct, but it's not a tall thing. Um... Ooh, lantern. I think I like this lantern a lot. So no water for that one. Let's buy the lantern. That looks pretty. I know we need it for the moth. Some kind of a light source for the moth. All right. Let's see. Uh, all right. We need... I think I want to have a keeper. What can we buy in terms of stuff? I would love this rhododendron. It is so darn pretty. Um, how many days left? Two days. All right. I think we can get enough in two days for sure. If we save a little bit of money here. Um, let's see. I think we can use a keeper's cottage. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That should be good right there. All right. And then we'll have a keeper. That reduces our income slightly. Um, if we, when we get one, I mean, they have to be attracted out here first. Um, but it should be fine. We should be able to get one. This frog thing, I, I don't even know what to do about this, honestly. I'm kind of like, how? Um, let's see, goldfish. We can look at goldfish as well. Where do they live? There's one here. But why isn't there one here? Foliage and shading. There's all of this stuff is here. Oh, there's a curious creature. Aha. I don't understand. Hmm. All right. Whatever. All right, we get a keeper. Hooray! So they're going to cost us money to keep, but that's okay. Uh, they will help us with some of the decay items. Hurrah! More keepers means more company for us and more assistance for you. This is a big step for us, Catherine. We, when we summon you, we didn't dare dream about the day that our numbers would be increasing. With more keepers comes a better ability to tend the garden and harness its magic. We keepers are also known as elves or gnomes and inhabit the most fertile worlds. In fact, we have even relatives back in yours, but they seem to primarily keep to themselves and their helping hands have now become forgotten. This is a significant step. Well done. Keepers help you maintain a healthy garden. They restore decaying items and collect valuable items. Once upgraded, they can heal creatures and banish nefarious entities. In addition to needing a home, keepers come with an upkeep cost. Okay, so that's fine. Oh, we got a keeper runner and magician. Cool. I don't know how to upgrade them. Oh, this one calls it back, I guess. But like, if I talk to you... Hmm, it doesn't say how to upgrade them. Maybe it's not in the demo. Okay, uh, what else we got here? We want to probably save the money right now so we can get that rhododendron. Oh, we got more stuff. Cool. Uh, let's see, flower baskets. We need a lot of nectar for that. A keeper statue, that's cute. Um, tiles, we can make paths with those. Savannah, stone steps. Stone steps look cool. I think I might want to get those. Oh, actually, we can buy them right now. Instead of this uh, stuff here. I wonder what those are. Oh, they're here. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so let's fast forward. Oh, 
Okay, 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 okay. Yep, 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 yep. Collect, collect, collect. Some of those things are way expensive, so we want to gather the nectar. So the yellow nectar primarily comes from um, flowers that are fully adapted. So you're like like this guy. Oopsies. If we look at it. Adaptation 100%. So that's why we don't see any uh, yellow stuff coming over here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause for now because we have no more time in this video. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.